Rowena, it's such a pleasure. I'm dying to ask you about your recent deal with USA Rare Earth. How about we start there? I'm very excited to start there. We've just signed a five-year supply arrangement with USA Rare Earths. We will commence deliveries to them next year in alignment with when they uh, start commissioning their still water facility um, in Oklahoma. And the intention is that we will provide 60% of the feedstock for that material over the next five years as they ramp that facility up. Initially, they're targeting to take that up to 1,200 tonne per annum, but I know that they've got ambitions uh, to take that up to 4,800 tonne per annum as, as quickly as they can. We have frequently listed ASM as one of the top three rare earth projects in the world. And I think some of our audience may have forgotten some of the competitive elements of ASM. Would you mind uh, just bringing them up to speed with what makes you most excited about ASM today? Well, first of all, it is the Dubbo project that we have in New South Wales, Australia. It's obviously a tier one jurisdiction, and we have a very special ore body that is, uh, you know, construction ready. Um, which in, in itself makes it unique in the industry that we can rapidly get this into production. We've got all the engineering work done. We've done all the test work on the flow sheet. We've got all the environmental approvals in place. We're working with Hyundai Engineering at the moment on the final EPC definition. And we're just at the point where we are talking to offtake partners for the materials. We have light rare earths as well as heavy rare earths. Um, but then also three other critical minerals in that deposit, the zirconia, the hafnia and the niobium. So we're talking to offtake parties, including uh, a number of parties in the States. Uh, we're aiming to get those um, in place by the end of this financial year um, and then through next year, moving through to final investment decision. We're expecting uh, Dubbo to have its first production in early 27. Um, so that would be the first thing uh, that really uh, sets us up for success. Uh, but then one of the other aspects of ASM that really differentiates us is that we have got a strategy to go from mine all the way through to metal. And we have already committed to building our first metals plant in South Korea. So that is already in production. Uh, we are sourcing third-party materials at the moment from Vietnam for that facility, and we are delivering to customers either a light rare earth metal or also the NDFEB alloy, that specialist alloy that is used for permanent magnet manufacturer, and we have that going into two American um, uh, customers. So that would be the second uh, aspect that I think really differentiates ASM from the rest of the market. Of course, you know, you have members of your team. I think Dubbo was actually uh, secured 20 some years ago, near, nearly 30 years. Is that correct? It was, it was certainly over 20 years ago when it was first discovered. Uh, and, you know, they've done a lot of exploration. We've got the life of mine for the project is based on a 20 year reserve, but We've done the exploration work to um, prove up a, a resource with an additional 50 years. So it is a very long life asset. Uh, and um, because it's got that polymetallic, it's got multiple materials in it, a very strong economics. So what are your priorities for this upcoming quarter? This quarter, we're very focused on two things. One is securing those offtakes for Dubbo so um, we can have those in place you know, by Christmas. And then secondly, we are focused on building our customer base for our metals plant in Korea. You know, we've obviously already got some customers, but we're in a number of product validation processes with customers in Japan, in the US and in Europe. Uh, so we're really wanting to grow that customer base so that we can ramp that production up in alignment with those customers' orders. For those of you new to ASM, please go to their website at the bottom of the screen. Thank you, Rowena, for joining us today. Thanks, Tracy.